In the vibration industry, the most basic concepts can be understood by examining a simple spring and its motion. What I have here are three different springs, and each spring has its own material properties, and so when the same size mass is hung from each of the springs, they stretch a different distance. Every spring is unique by its own material properties, and every substance is unique by its own material properties and will behave differently. If I take one of the springs and change the mass, you can notice that with less mass, the spring stretches a lesser distance. As I add mass, the spring stretches more. If we were to plot the force versus the distance stretched, say you take the mass and multiply it by the gravitational acceleration, we get the force of gravity for each of those masses and each time we add the mass it stretches a different distance, x representing the distance it stretches, and therefore a small mass and therefore a small force of gravity makes it stretch say a small distance and more mass and therefore more force of gravity stretches a greater distance and if we continue to plot various masses the force of gravity on those masses compared to the stretch we're going to find a linear relationship that re linear relationship we describe as Hooke's Law. And the slope of that line is what we call the K value. The K value for that particular spring. The green spring has its own unique K value. The yellow spring has its own unique K value, as does the red. And any kind of spring would have its own unique K value. That's called Hooke's Law. Any object that will vibrate due to this mass is called a simple harmonic oscillator.